Hey, how's it going? DVD for Lights and Entertainment. Hope you are doing well. Um, we're going to check out the latest trailer for The Mummy. This is coming out, I think, it's a summer movie. I think it's coming out in June. This is Universal Studios' plan to have their shared universe franchise because fucking every company out there wants one of those now. And. You can't blame them. I mean, they're financially successful. Everybody wants their Marvel franchise. You have Warner Brothers, who has two now with their DC Comics and fucking um, their MonsterVerse. And at Fox, they have their X-Men shared universe. list goes on and on. Um, pretty soon, we're going to get a Transformers shared universe from Paramount. Literally everything that has a sequel now is going to have an open shared cinematic universe. So, Universal, not to be outdone, um, they're doing, um, they're bringing up their classic horror monsters, uh, they're getting revisions, so to speak. I find it funny, this was supposed to start a few years back with uh, Dracula Untold, but everybody hated that movie, so they're like, okay, that wasn't the start of the, uh, this summer, the Tom Cruise mummy flick, that's, that's the one. And, um, you know, like I said, I've been a fan of Tom Cruise's, uh, later action films he's done the last few years like I said before a few years back Edge of Tomorrow that was one of my favorite movies of 2014 uh, the first Jack Reacher kicked ass the last two Mission Impossibles have been a hell of a lot of fun so the guy you know he does great action movies um, don't know much about this all I know is yes it's gonna be a shared universe like in the first trailer we saw Russell Crowe who I'm a fan of He's playing um, Dr. Jekyll, so you know down the road we're getting a Dr. Je uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde movie with him. And after that, who knows? Uh, I could see him trying to do the Wolfman again, even though they did it a few years with Benincio and it didn't really work. Um, but anyway, enough blabbing. We're watching the new trailer for The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise running around shooting shit. Off to a good start. Gonna see him run soon. What the hell? Not yet, but it's coming. Whatever's in there has been safely hidden for 2,000 years. Are you using the Rolling Stones this music? Is nice. Tomb. It's present. Nick! said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. But her thirst for power led her down a darker path, one that had to be stopped. Because of your actions, this ancient power has returned. This is part from the first trailer where Tom Cruise is rolling around in the plane. That looks pretty cool. Like I said, I just like it that we see Tom Cruise, like, screaming. Like, usually he's running, looking all serious, and he was actually screaming. You are alive. Pretty cool. Because you were chosen. Chosen? By what? Evil. Oh, the bugs are back. Nice. We got rats. Nice. Doing the face in the sandstorm again. Figured they'd do that again. Extra points for using paint it black. Like, um, one thing I dig about it is uh, the element of horror films. Like, uh, let's remember when the original movie was a part of like you know 
the same line of films as Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein, horror movies, and aspects of that felt like something out of a horror movie, so I appreciate that. And like I said uh, before, um, Tom Cruise is kind of on a run with me with, you know, decent summer, you know, brainless entertainment that I enjoy during the hot times of the year. So, dude, I'm game. I'm down. It looks pretty cool. Um, a woman playing the mummy this time around. So progressive. No, I'm just kidding. I'm serious. I don't care. I literally could care less that they changed the sex of the mummy. It looks cool. Like... The, uh, like I said during the trailer, they're even doing a thing where her face is in the sandstorm, kind of like the Brendan Fraser movie. Yeah, it doesn't look as hokey and corny as the Brendan Fraser flicks, which honestly is a good thing. So, yeah, The Mummy.